chewy noodles. Mm. Wow. Honestly, every time I make this soup, I just am always amazed. It's like one of the one of my go-to noodle soups at home. Okay, we are going to make the most epic, most flavorful, so rich and delicious and chickeny soup broth in like record time. Record time. This is a great noodle soup dish to have during the week, even though you would think noodle soup is something that takes a lot of time. Uh, let's do the quick version. Okay, we're going to make a paste first of all, and I want some garlic. And you don't have to be too fussy here because I'm going to strain the broth. So just take the kind of big chunks of skin off. I want to try and have this done in like 45 minutes from start to finish. So we don't need to be all fine dining here. Now some coriander roots. And those of you who have been watching my channel for a while will know this paste by now. You should know it. It's a very classic Thai paste called Sam Gle, And we use it as a base for like, you know, noodle soup, stir fries, curry paste. And a lot of you have said that you can't get coriander bunches with the root end. That's okay, just use as much of the stem as you can. And I want some peppercorns. And a little pinch of salt. All right, rough paste is what we're going for here. So once everything looks a little bit like this, then we're good to go. I'm gonna heat up a little bit of oil in my pot here and add in that paste. Such a wonderful, comforting smell for me. Ah, reminds me of my childhood, my Thai mom cooking whatever it is that she's cooking in the kitchen. Always that garlic and coriander pepper smell. Mm. Instantly like a nice big hug. Now I'm gonna add some chicken in here and I'm using drumsticks because they're super cheap. I often have them in the freezer as well and they do have a lot of flavor that's gonna go into our soup as well. Now the idea here is that we're building up layer upon layer of flavour. Just because we're doing things quickly doesn't mean we can't do them, you know, nicely or the best way possible in the time given. So what I want here is I want the chicken to get a little bit of colour and that little bit of colour is going to flavour, well that's what's going to flavour the stock as well. So the trick here is to get those chicken pieces just browning but don't burn the garlic. So just keep an eye out there, keep the chicken pieces moving a little. This is such a great way to make store-bought stock taste like super homemade. No one will even know. Okay, so see that golden brown color? That's the situation we're after. So now I'm gonna go in with my flavorings. I've got some star anise, some soy sauce, and some dark soy sauce. And I love the dark soy sauce here because it gives the soup a really rich, deep, dark color, which kind of fools you into thinking that it's been simmered for hours. And now our good old store-bought chicken stock. I mean, if you have homemade, obviously go ahead and use that too. I want a little dash of sugar here as well, and that's going to balance out the salty flavors and create a really beautiful roundness in terms of flavor for the soup. Trust me, you could leave it out if you wanted to, but I do find it just adds an extra kind of complexity. Now bring this up to a little bubble and just let it simmer away for 30 minutes. So in the meantime, let's get the rest of our stuff ready for our soup bowls. So the first thing I want to do is prep my noodles. And you might think this is a bit weird because we're going to cook the noodles in boiling water later. So what do we need to do with the noodles now? Well, I find with these type of dried rice stick noodles, they really benefit from some soaking before you go and cook them in the hot water. And what that does is it leaves the noodles with a chewier texture because I guess some of that starch must come out in the water as it soaks. And seeing as we're going to wait for our stock anyway, you may as well go ahead and soak your noodles. 
and that's just room temperature water and you'll see a bit later on that they soften up quite a bit. Now the other thing I want here is some nice little bites of greenery. So I've got some choy sum here, but you could use pak choy, you could use bok choy, you could use broccolini, broccoli, whatever kind of green that you've got handy at home. And some herbs. And I love that you can really add like such a great kick of fresh flavor and like make things extra special just with a few little extra herbs. So I'm gonna use some coriander and some spring onion. And now all we have to do is wait for that broth to do its thing. Oh, this is smelling so amazing right now. Uh, now I have been skimming just lightly the top of that soup as it's been simmering away. And I'll just do one final little lift off here. And now chicken drumsticks, I wanna save those for my soup bowl. Now, let's strain that broth. Oh, do you look at that color? Oh, amazing. Now, let's keep that soup broth nice and hot. Now, this is an optional, but I love having Asian meatballs in my noodle soup, so I've got some pork balls here to add in. I mean, you could make your own and just kind of like um, make little pork meatballs and pop them in there as well, or just leave it with the chicken. Keeping it simple is just fine. One thing you must do is check for seasoning. So as always, I mean, you know, it's starting out with different types of chicken broth, whether it's homemade or store-bought, that can all affect the amount of salt and savouriness in the soup. So that's why you always got to check. Oh, that is very close. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce for my liking. Just a couple of spoonfuls. And I also like to serve some fish sauce at the end at the table. People can add their own. All right, let's get the rest of our noodle bowl ready. So have a look at our dried rice stick noodles. They're now sort of soft and pliable. So I want a good handful of those. I like to do this individually. I know it's like kind of street cart style, but I find you just get the right amount of bounce in the noodle, the right amount of cooking for the vegetable, you know, if you just do it individually. So noodles, a little bit of greenery. And some bean shoots. And I've got some water boiling here. And the trick to keeping your noodles really nice and bouncy rather than kind of like flat and soggy is to do this like super quick. And I'm talking matter of seconds. So your scoop of stuff goes in, kind of jiggle it around with your tongs. And I don't know, what are we counting? Five seconds, 10 seconds, maybe a little longer. Just until those noodles are tender. Scoop that into your bowl. Now we want one of our drumsticks in here and that's the other great thing about using drumsticks, we can just get it straight out into the bowl, don't have to shred the meat or anything. Good handful of our spring onion and coriander. A few of our pork balls. And then here comes that glorious soup. Final little adjustments here. Uh, some Thai basil, these are kind of optional, but I like to kind of add these bits and pieces at the end. And of course, a little bit of chili powder for me, guys. And there you go. Noodle soup, woe to go in like less than 45 minutes. And wait till you try this soup. I mean, the flavor is so incredible for something that we've done so quickly. Wait to get in there. Steaming bowl of soup, noodle soup. There is like nothing better in this world. Mm. Chili noodles. Mm. 
Wow. Honestly, every time I make this soup, I just am always amazed. It's like one of the one of my go-to noodle soups at home because mm, the flavour. I mean, it's so complex. You get like this beautiful. You can taste the beautiful background of that star anise and the kind of background heat from the pepper. And then you get that salty savouriness and the chickeny. Like it tastes like it's been simmering for hours, honestly. Mm. I mean, this is really one to get excited about. Oh. Yum.